Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is the connection okay now? Yes. Yeah. Hey, I champ your arm, I know. I need down early. We want our woman out an hour. And yet, in your name, we will be off. In your name, I'm your lawyer, Lizzie, she will. Oh, they say, in your name, Lizzie, she is all. ไอ้นี่ไอ้เจ๊ดูเจ๊ดเนี่ยมาแล้วเนาะนี่เนี่ยพี่เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยมีกระบาดเนี่ยเว้ยสิเออเซไอ้
So can you think of as a three adjectives? Can I ask you guys now? Okay, so I'll start with our only one gentleman, Alexander. <laughs> Come on, it's just only three adjectives. But you need to be honest with us, okay? I can make a sentence, right? No, 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 not sentence. Just only three adjectives, like, like this one, like adventurous, calm, cautious, whatever, th only three adjectives. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's say well. Huh? Uh, I said like, uh, bright. Okay. And, and then a patient. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think. And and then, and then um, uh, <laughs> kind. Kind. Okay. So you use uh, only positive adjective to describe yourself. Okay, great. So the, <clears throat> so there is no like negative character for you, right? According to your three adjective, there is no like negative personality, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. So how about Julie, Demi? What are the three adjective? Uh, I would say independent, quick temper, and logical. Okay, independent, quick temper, and logical. Okay, great. And then how about uh, when what do we? Sensitive, <laughs> independent, and okay. and then shy. Shy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so how about them? What do we? Impatient. Impatient, okay. Helpful. Helpful. Organized. And organized person. Okay, great. And Megaba, I think you can't you can't speak, right? As you are outside. Yes. Yes, we can hear you. So can you can you express three adjective? Is that okay for you? Oh uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I only need to say the adjective. Yeah. Uh, organized, patient, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. honest. Honest. Okay, great. So are you guys being honest with me or not? Are they true personality or just makeup personality? True. True. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> so I think we can't trust Alexander, right? Because he only used as uh, positive words, right? To describe about his character. So whatever. So let's find out, okay? So number one, choose the adjective from the list to describe a good friend. So to describe a good friend, which adjective will be needed among these ones? So let's talk about these adjectives first, whether we know these words or not, okay? So adventurous, you know the character, right? Adventurous, who like to do like risky tests or risky things. So they are quite adventurous, right? And how about calm? Calm person. You know that words, right? It's very calm, right? Like that. Very calm in like making decisions or whatever situation is. He is very he or she is very calm. We can see like that. And cautious. You also know that word, right? Cautious about everything or every situation. And decisive. You know that words too, right? Who can make right like decisions, right? Determinedly, so like decisive and determined. You know that word too, right? Determined and easygoing. How about this one? Do you know the word easygoing? He or she is very like easygoing person who is not that serious person like that, right? So easygoing and generous. You know this word too, right? He or she is very generous like that. Are you guys generous or stingy? How do you think of yourself? Generous person or stingy person? I would say I'm in the middle. In between, okay. Yes. How about the other? I'm generous teacher. I'm generous, okay. <laughs> I'm generous teacher. How about Alexander? How do you think? Are you generous or are you, are you like stingy or mean? 
I think I'm in between. Oh, okay, in between. So if we need to be generous, we have to be generous. If we need to be like stingy, we have to be stingy like that, right? So we are in between, yes. In between is, is better than being generous or being stingy, right? Yes, in between. And hot walking. Are you guys hot walking student or not? Yeah. In between again, right? <laughs> not too lazy, not too hot walking like that, right? I'm in between. But uh, according to your uh, like your situation, like you guys are really happy last Tuesday, right? So definitely, you guys are not that hot walking, am I right? <laughs> I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't stuff. happy. Again. <laughs> okay, so honest. Uh, how about this one? Honest. Are you honest or dishonest? It depends on the situation, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it depends on the situation. And impatience, you know the word, right? Impatient and independent, you know the word too. Kind, logical. How about logical? Do you know what it means? You can like think logically like that, right? And lawyer, you know that word too, right? Modest, how about modest? What, what does that mean? Being humble, right? Even if we, you are really good, you're kind of like humble person. So that is modest, right? And optimistic. What is the meaning of optimistic? Do you know the word? To we'll always look on the good side. Yeah, to so always look on the good side. So that is optimistic. So pessimistic, that will be the opposite of uh, optimistic, right? To we'll always think from the bad side of the situation or whatever it is, right? So are you optimistic person or pessimistic person? Pessimistic. Pessimistic. <laughs> How about them one, Alexander? Optimistic or pessimistic person? Optimistic person. Pessimistic. How about Alexander? Optimistic. Optimistic, okay. Always uses positive words, right? Okay, optimistic person. Maybe I'm, I'm also like pessimistic person whatever so organized and the more use these words to describe herself right organized person yes and patient patient is like um, alexander right he used patient to describe himself are you really patient person yeah I did. yeah okay whatever quick temper how about this one quick temper do you know the word who got angry really quick yes that is quick temper. We don't attach him or her like that, right? Because he or she has really quick temper. Shine. And I don't want to use these words to express herself, right? Shine. And social evolve. You know the word, right? Who is really good at social dealing. So that is social evolve. I'm kind of social evolve person like that. And spontaneous. What is the meaning of spontaneous? Who we'll always send the word? Voluntary. Mm, yes, we can say like that, spontaneous, right? Who can react things quickly like that. So that is spontaneous, right? And sympathetic. You know that word, right? Sympathetic. Yes. So is there any any words that you don't know the meaning? No, no one. Okay. So okay. So we have to choose a uh, additive. To describe a good friend from these adjectives. So to be a good friend, what uh, characteristics or what personality will be needed among these adjectives to be a good friend for someone? I did loyal. Loyal, yes. Loyal and kind. 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 Okay, they need to be kind and honest. Patient. Uh, honest. Honest, okay, honest, and I also patient. Patient. need to be patient with us, right? <laughs> and is there any words? Decisive. Decisive, mm, they need to be decisive, okay. And is there any quality? <laughs> Why do they need to be generous? They need to be generous with us, right? To buy some snacks. <laughs> okay, whatever, generous. They need to be generous. And 
Is there any other words? Or does it? Does it? Okay. So number two, how many pairs of the opposite can you find in exercise one? So can we find any opposite pairs from the in the list? How many uh, like optimistic and pessimistic? They are opposite to each other, right? And is there any other words? Patient and impatient. Okay. Patient and impatient. Oh, what is patient? Patient, patient. I don't see patient. Yeah, okay. Patient and impatient. Yes. And is there any other pair? Hardworking and easygoing. Hardworking and easygoing. Okay. And? Shy and sociable. Shy and sociable, yes. And? Is there any more pair? I think there is one more pair. Calm and quick temper. Yes, quick temper, correct. And is there any more pair? That's it, right? Okay. Okay, so as we have finished number two, we'll move to number uh we'll move to the re reading number three. Walk with a partner and do the personality test on page 87. So did you see the personality test on page 87? Uh, mm, sorry. So there is a personality test questions here. So we have to do this one. Okay. So we'll look at the instruction first. So do the personality test on page 87 using the instructions below. And student A, for each of the statements, choose one of the option. I strongly agree, I disagree, etc. And tell your partner numbers of points you get for each statement. Also, the student A, student B, or the other one. Or the other one, 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 we will share our information, okay? Or the other one, the other one, the other one. Uh, we have to give points to ourselves. Right? So points to be the um, uh, to be the statement the one to be the um, For example, like part one, uh, sorry, so part three could be the right? Uh, part one, uh, sorry, part A, part B, part C, part D. Uh, part A, uh, sorry, uh, I like being with people. I like being with people. So uh, solution, I uh, like I strongly agree. So in five. Five below yare. Dama time ago agree solution four points be yame. I'm not quite sure. So I'm I'm not quite sure that you are not like you're just okay with being with people or like individual. So you can you can give three right. Or if you disagree with the statement, so you don't like being with people, you can give like two points. Or you really don't like with people, you can give one point. So you have to give points according to the situation or according to the statement for for all four parts. So can you do that? Okay, so we'll do this one, okay? Up to part D. All right, so part could be done, be done, and score over the BMA. Bound BMA. Now our part A, my I score, bound me. B, my I score, bound me. And after that, we'll check our personality, okay? So tell me when you guys finish.
Phil, have you finished? How about the others? How about the others? Baby, not okay. Um, um, maybe nine. Mana. Actually, you need to be honest with the points that you give to yourself. Uh, honestly, not So there, there is a like monkey scheme here, right? Score. All right, so part A ma, I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm like cautious. Social level. So you have to uh, count like this, right? So I think I have to go with one by one, right? So how the more? For part A, how many marks have you got? Eight. Eight. Eight, right? Only eight yeah. marks. Okay, so you are kind of like cautious, right? So how about part B? 19. 19. So you are realistic for part B. So how about part C? 17. 17. So you are decisive. And how about part D? 21. 21. Okay, so you are organized. So according to your scores, you are cautious, realistic, decisive, and organized person. So is that true for you? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. So I'll move to um, Alexander. Alexander, have you finished? Yeah. Okay, so tell me your score for part A. 16. 16. So you are sociable. How about part B? 17. 17. So you're realistic. And how about part C? 21. 21. So you are decisive. How about part D? 13. 13. Yeah. So spontaneous. So according to your scores, you are a sociable, realistic, decisive, and spontaneous person. So is that true for you? True. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So how about win what me? What have you got for part A? Six. Six, okay, so you're cautious. How about part B? 22, oh no, 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 I, that's part C. Part B is 19. 19, okay, so realistic. How about part C? And 22. 22, so you're decisive. And how about part D? 18. 18, so you're organized. So according to your scores, you are cautious, realistic, decisive, and organized person, right? So is that true for you? I think so. I think so. <laughs> okay, so how about Julie the me? How many scores have you got for part A? Uh, six. Six, so cautious person. How about part B? 24. 24, okay, so you're realistic. How about part C? 23. 23, decisive person. How about part D? 21. 21, so organized. So according to your score, you're a conscious, realistic, decisive, and organized person. Is it true for you? Yes, so true. Yes, so true. Okay. <laughs> so this personality test is really useful for everyone, right? Okay. So how about Mika, by the way? Can you tell your scores? Uh, okay. She said she was outside, so I will skip her. Okay. So... That is very true for all of you, right? Okay. Okay, so as we have finished this one, so these are adjectives that we can uh, we can use to express one's personality and character, right? So apart from all these words, so is there any words that you know to describe a character or personality apart from these words? Is there any other words that you know to describe a person's personality or character. The top personality never that worst the 
Affectionate. Affectionate. Okay. Affectionate. And? Sensitive. Sensitive, yes. And? Friendly. Hmm? Friendly. Oh, how do you spell that, Amy? F-I-E-N-D-L-Y. Ah, friendly, yes. Friendly and friendly, yes. And? Touchy. Uh, yes. <laughs> and? Upbeat. Ah, uh, yes. Correct. And? Is there any more words? Artistic. Mm, yes. Correct. And? Is there any more words? Vicious. Vicious. Uh, yes, yeah, we can also use that word. And? Is there any more? Like talkative, chatty, brave, coward, right? And? Smart. Mm. Brilliant. And? Stupid. Is there any word like stupid? <laughs> Dumb, stupid, right? And? Serious, right? Intelligent. Intelligent, yes. Intelligent. And? Lazy. <laughs> and? Is there any more words? Funny. Right? Or is there any more words? Shitty line. You did me on the deal. Creative. Right? And brave. Brave, yes. Brave. And adds, I sell like stingy, mean, right? Contain curse. Ah, yes, correct. And is there any more words? Can't squeeze our brains anymore, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll, uh, we have finished these activities, right? And we skip these activities. So we have finished up to three, right? So we have to move to number four. Rewrite the sentences in the use of English books so that they are true for you. So before doing this one, we have to pay attention to the use of English words, right? So you will see adjective followed by the prepositions. So adjective with the prepositions, right? So in this uh, use of English, you have to learn the prepositions that follow after their particular adjective. All right, so adjective here, now mark, like be it, prepositions are she be done. For example, like, so I am interested in the way down there. I'm interested in now much so of them at home, uh, like on them at home, at them at home, of them at home, your general. Are interested in now much so in my idea of your general. So I'm interested in something, right? I'm interested in reading. I'm interested in sports. I'm interested in whatever. No, are interested in, and I'm good at. Right? So good here now, my dear. But I'm not in what I'm like good at. Be done. So I'm good at something. I'm good at English. I'm good at practical things. I'm good at maths. I'm good at chemistry, like that, right? So if you're good at something, can we can use good at, good with at interested with in and we also use aware with of aware of so i'm aware of something i'm aware of what i can do and can't do i am aware of something we can use like that and difficult it is something difficult for me difficult go well with only for difficult for okay difficult for someone and friendship is important too. So important go well with two. Important to someone. Got it? Important to someone. And upset about something. Upset go well with about. Upset about something. Well, I get upset about last minute changes to plan. So you can follow something after upset about. 
annoy with annoy go well with with I get annoyed with I get annoyed with annoyed by annoyed with annoyed with annoyed people who are not sensible and practical the other knowledge are deep adjective to go no more did do it now more like that did them propositions are she yellow girl Hello, adjective nearly proposition to a long likely the a hand to chaha she lie except these expressions the expression yeah we have the chaha the amisha for example so good so in at net with look bad so in a job at name it way i am good at practical things i am bad at maths something like that i love you all right that's how a toy lady the line for example i famous for so famous solution for never do right Difference of under the Different. Of. Different. Of under the shadow. I show up. Like this, this pen is different. <laughs> like this pen is different. Blank. Uh, this pen. So we. No. Different actually from under the different from this pen is different from this pen like that right a different daughter from it similar to on the drill this pen is similar blank to this pen yes similar daughter to me today the similar to different from right feel it's how words did the actually line kind so i'm gonna do it kind she is very kind blend the animal but it's only you so that's another resolution so i kind of got a proposition like that oh kind of let me kind of let me i mean i kind of that i only want to do it don't know more as a definite don't know more that is kind of like blah 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 i look at it don't know kind to that don't mean no kind to someone or something no kind so you do need to read it now, the child will only want to be lying. Worried. A shame of. A shame of, yes. Shame of Nedre. Or of Nedre, gone as a job, I assume. A shame of. Afraid of. Afraid of. Yes, correct. Capable Afraid. of. Capable of, yes. Capable of doing something. Scared of. Frightened of, right? Proud of. Proud of, Proud of yes, correct. Proud of on the net talk like you couldn't know the net talk like oh okay. Be all about the only issue delay. Marriage to one another. He or she married to yes married to some married to two another. No. Hmm. What she delay? Responsible. For. For yes. Someone is responsible for something or someone, right? Responsible for. And is there any more words? Angry about. Angry about, yes. Or angry with somebody, yes. Angry about something, angry with somebody, yes. Disappointed with. Disappointed with. I'm very disappointed with you, yes. And Okay. Bore, bore with? With, yes. Bore with a witness. I'm really bored with doing the same thing every day like that, right? Okay. Our earlier some of the middle eyes or the proposition, yeah, much about pop your middle eye. The convolution, like the kind of somewhere top of level. We go for the kind of other, I need to do the middle eye. That isn't the media. Doesn't our answer use of English go dig up me much or mid and money. Grandma, dig out how you mean. Article use of English name and I will give you a much like some of people's solution. Article name will be the other so I was talking about the blank part of the R.A. Down on the channel a multiple choice page how we are gonna or a much of a chance and ball agent is already words team over in the tower is a joke not that I discussed the right words that then it came up by looks how we are a common let's help you a middle yeah I don't know or I don't you post any video yeah someone no and also someone who is never fully in your world, never for. We write the sentences in the use of English books so that that are true for you, sorry. The beta words that you can don't be wrong. Go ahead, go ahead, but that true statement is in your view. For example, I'm interested, so go back on interest, 
my interest in my so I'm interested in nothing to eat like that. So I'm interested in nothing except like sleeping and eating like that, right? And that is very true sentence about us, right? I'm interested in nothing except sleeping and eating like that, right? I'm good at nothing <laughs> except eating and sleeping again. No, ကိုယ်ကိုနဲ့ပတ်သက်တဲ့ဆက်နဲ့စ်တွေ Just only one. One sentence for each expression. So you will have like seven sentences, right? Uh, do I have to send directly to you? Yes, you have to send it to me. นั่นเลยมันนี่อะไรแต่ละอันมันนี่อะไรนู้ราสวัสดีอ่ะก่อนมันนี่อะไรมันน่ะป้าอินเข้าเราเซมิเราตัดไปแล้วน้องป้าอ
Yes, correct, Lysander. Yes, correct, Lysander. Okay, okay, correct, Lesana. So Lesana has finished every sentence. Okay. And we want just Uh, yes, correct, one. Well, well. I think for the last sentence, it has to be like, until which always follows me, right? Uh, so, yes. Okay, correct. Okay, correct, Julie. Julie and Wilma share the same interests. You both in interested in history. More like wall history, not this history. Wall history, okay. <laughs> Just a reading. Uh, yes, correct that one. And you need to complete three more sentences, right? That one. Okay, I'll wait.
Yes, correct, Damo. So I think everyone has finished, right? So is there any question for this adjective with the propositions? Is there any question? No more question, right? I already explained about the example moment, so there is no question, right? So let's move to page number 90. A teenage millionaire. Do you want to be a teenage millionaire? Guys. <laughs> okay. Are you guys sleeping? <laughs> okay. So let's discuss the question before uh, reading this one. What are the qualities you need to be successful? So if we want to get success, what qualities or which personality will be needed to get success in life? What are the most important personality that someone needs if they want to get success? Hard working. Okay, hard working. Okay. Time management. Time management, yes, it is very important. And decisive. Decisive, yes. And cautious. Cautious, okay, cautious. But at the same time, they also need to be like adventurous, right? Because they have to take risks to get success for something. That's it. Optimistic. Optimistic. They need to be optimistic, yes. And is there any more qualities? Having a knowledge. Mm, yes, knowledge. That is also important. And I think they also need to be like creative, right? So they get new ideas and they can get success. Okay, so let's move to Rina. now. Read this news story. Why is the title absolutely amazing? So read this test and uh, we'll discuss this question, okay? The title is like, it's not absolutely amazing. It's like absolutely amazing. So why is the title like this? So we'll read this one and after that we'll discuss this question. Why is the title like this, okay? Unless I don't love the meeting, right? Hmm. So have you finished reading the test? So why is the title absolutely amazing? How do you think? Because that boy created an ad called Sunday. Yes. Yes, correct. So because that is about a teenager, there's a person, right, who invented an app 
which is absolutely amazing like that, right? So that is why the title is absolutely amazing. Yes, correct. Okay, so we'll move to number two now, vocabulary. Read the article again and make a list of the all the personality adjective. So you have to analyze all the adjectives that can highlight personality. And we have to also decide whether they are positive or negative ones. Okay, so we'll try to find out the words first. And after that, we'll decide, are they positive or negative? Okay. Did you find the words? Sure. Is nerd a personality type? Um, okay, you can also take this one as personality type nerd. ไม่เปลี่ยนแล้วเนาะเจ้าคุณเอาไม่เปลี่ยนแล้วเจ้าคุณเอาไม่เปลี่ยนแล้วเจ้าคุณเอาไม่เปลี่ยนแล้วเจ
So nerd and arrogant. Arrogance. And self-centered. Self-centered, correct. And polite. 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 And likeable. Likeable. Enthusiastic. And self-aware. So which ones are positive ones? Like, 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 So they are like positive uh, personality. So the negative ones are like arrogant, self like, and nerd too, right? Mostly we use a uh, nerd from like what well, a negative meaning, right? He is just a, like nerd or something like that from negative meaning. So that is why we can also add this one from negative personality. So I think that's all about the personality words, right? Okay, so let's move to number three now. Match the words to their definitions. So there are like words one up to 10 and there are definitions A up to J. So we just have to match their words and their definitions. So we'll do this one and after that we'll check the answers together. So have you finished? Okay, so let's check the answers together. Number one, launch. So what is its definition? Launch. F. F, yeah, correct. Make a project available for the first time. So launch. How about summarize? A. Yes, it's A, right? Describe briefly in the main facts or idea. So that is number A, projects. D. Number D. Happy it's because of something you have achieved. How about inspire? G. G, yes, correct. Make someone feel they want to do something and can do it. Stereotypical. E. 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 Yes. Having the qualities that you expect a particular type of person to have. So that is stereotypical. Nerd. 
I. 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 Okay. Someone, especially a boy or man, who is not fashionable and who is interested in boring things. And when we are using the nerd, we have to be careful. That is informal expression only. Okay. <laughs> How about genius? H. 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 Okay. Someone who is extremely intelligent or good at doing something. Invest in. Oh, you forgot the humanities. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. The humanities. L. Huh? L. Right? Uh, okay. Is there any? Is there any? L. Oh, that's J. <laughs> I thought it was L. I say KL, right? So there is no, <laughs> I'm searching for L. Yes, the answer is G, right? Subjects that are not connected with science, for example, like history or language, so that are humanities, right? And invest in? C. 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 Yes. Give money to business, usually in order to make a profit. So the last one, take risk. P. B. B. Yes, the last one. Do something which may not be uh, successful and may even be dangerous. So that is take risk. So the words are quite easy, right? So let's move to the speaking now. What would a pronoun as an answer this question? So what do this one together, okay? Number one, what did Nick do when he was 15? So what did he do when he was 15? He launched an app. Yes, at the age of 15, he launched an app, right? An iPhone app called Assembly. So that would be answer for number one, right? And... Okay, we have only two students. <laughs> Again. Okay, so how about number two? What is assembly? What is it? What is assembly? It's an app uh, which summarizes summarize stories, stories in, in the, the news, news and, and it was and <laughs> <laughs> yes, they can summarize the story in the news, right? So that is Assembly. And how about number three? Had Assembly been successful? How do you know it? So is that a successful app? Yes. Yeah. So how do how can we know that? It was downloaded by nearly a million people. Yes, it was downloaded by nearly a million people. Okay, I left another bag. <laughs> so that is why we can say it is a successful app, right? Alexander, we are doing uh, the exercises on page number 91, though. 91, number four, yeah, four, yeah, right? And what is Nick most pleased about? So what is the thing that he most pleased about? Seeing the tweets, tweets yes. coming through from sure, teenagers saying, right? saying, you have yeah. inspired me. me. Yes. saying the tweets coming through from teenagers saying you have inspired me so did he inspire you guys too did you get inspiration from him because he is a teenage millionaire so you can also imagine that i can also be a millionaire in my teenage like that right so you can get inspiration and motivation from him right do you feel like that <laughs> you have to okay whatever the answer has to be yes okay <laughs> okay so what is uh what is he like as a person? So as a person, what uh what is he like? He's polite, likable. Yes. He is likable, enthusiastic, and self-aware, right? Yes, all right. Alessandra, do it like that. Yeah, okay. So how about the last one? What are his plans? So what are his plans for the future? What is his future plan? He will work in the product design. He will? Walk. Walk? Uh, what is the end for the He will work. He, that he said he's more interested in product design. So I think he will work on that. Mm -hmm. So this one, right? Yeah. I like to do to invest in small community. So that will be his plans for the future, right? So where you get all the answers for number four, everyone? 
Okay, great. So let's move to number five now. Find these expressions in a newspaper story about knit the LSU. At 15, at university, at school, in the news, on the computer. So this phrase has been used in the test, right? And we are not looking for these words in the test because it takes time. Instead, we have to pay attention to the prepositions again. This time, prepositions follow by now. Our corner Additively, now my like the prepositions to appear. Yeah, a quarter to now you assume my like the prepositions. You know, or so when we are talking about age, we can say at right at the age of 15, at the age of 14, at the age of 20, right? And we can also use at school, at university. What we are talking about university, work, or school, like at work, at university, at school, like that, right? And when we are talking about the news, we can use in as a preposition in the news, not on the news. And it has to be on his computer, not in his computer. Got it? Okay, so we'll do number six now. Complete these sentences with the current prepositions in, on, or at. So you can use these three prepositions to fill the blank. Either the answer is in the test. So if you want to make sure, you can search for the answers in the test. Okay, so we'll do number six. And after that, we'll check the answers again together. Okay, shall we check now? So what is the answer for number one? Nick is still... Still? In? Stay in school. How about the others? In? 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 Still, still in school. How did you find the answer? Is it in the test? Test him about IMP. Chair, Yandot. Yandot. Okay. He is still in school or he is still at school. Actually, uh, the, the preferable answer would be that he is still at school, right? Or we can also use in school, yes. I don't in school at all, at school. No, Jay, I saw John, I don't know near the long tail, Paladin, Pelo, Sinu, Chongi, I know, I am a long don't like. Most of the students use that technique, right? Solo Gaum, man, a solo Gaum, right? Am I right? <laughs> I will warn you, it only it only works like for some of the situation, not all the time, okay? The chain long, not instant long, you know me, right? <laughs> Sometimes it works, yes. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so how about number two? They can't pull solo gown of you. At the moment, right? Yes, at the moment. At the moment, he is studying Chinese and Russian. So at the moment means just right now, right? Uh, number three, uh, this is a brilliant app. In yes, in my opinion, that is quite simple, right? How about before? Has Nick been on 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 TV? Yes, on TV. And five, he looks quite young. Uh, young. Blend the photo. In in the photo. Yes, correct. He likes being blind control of what he is doing. In in control. Of, yes, correct. And he doesn't want a job. Blind computer programming. 
ตกลงเบาหน่อยละ in computer programming right so in the answer is and number eight you can read news stories on on your phone yes and number nine I read the story on on the internet yes not in the internet it's on the internet and he lives blend home with his parents and his younger brother at, at home yes <laughs> okay since since I'm mind and then you know that I'm so gonna be like that okay how much are they don't know about me though she's on with you know two four three right far I'm the ทรูโฟลส์มาบ้างเพราะส่วนใหญ่ต้องมาส่วนเนี่ยโมไปนี่หัวอะไรไม่ก็งาบมางาบลงพี่มาตีนทรูอีกเท่าไหร่เนี่